Last night, AMD emailed us a statement that they've now put on their blog page, so you can go check that out. We'll link it in the video description. But they claim this whole Radeon driver support debacle has been one big misunderstanding. But before we jump into that, I do want to go over what's happened to date because there have been a few extra things since our original video. So I'll quickly get you guys up to speed, particularly those who decided to go outside over the weekend and missed all of this excitement. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, in AMD's latest driver notes, buried among many lines of information, they said the following, new game support and expanded Vulkan extension support is available to Radeon RX 7000 and 9000 series graphics products. Essentially, what they appeared to be saying here was that RDNA 1 and 2 GPUs would no longer get new game support. And this was alarming information if true. So multiple tech media outlets reached out to AMD for clarification, and this was their initial response. RDNA 1 and 2 graphics cards will continue to receive driver updates for critical security and bug fixes to focus on optimizing and delivering new and improved technologies for the latest GPUs, AMD Software Adrenaline Edition 25.10.2 is placing Radeon RX 5000 and RX 6000 series graphics cards, RDNA 1 and RDNA 2, into maintenance mode. Further driver updates with targeted game optimizations will focus on RDNA 3 and RDNA 4 GPUs. What this statement means is, when a new game is released and requires driver optimization work to address performance related issues, those optimizations will only apply to the newer RDNA 3 and 4 GPUs, meaning the experience with the older RDNA 1 and RDNA 2 GPUs could be heavily compromised. For those unaware, the term maintenance mode means that the driver development is effectively stopped. There will be no new features or optimizations. The only thing you should expect from a driver when it's placed in maintenance mode is bug fixes and security updates. This very clearly means that driver development for RDNA 1 and 2 GPUs has stopped upcoming games will not see any optimization work. This is obviously very bad news, and we covered all of the reasons for why this is bad and completely unacceptable in our previous video. Shortly after our initial video on this subject went live, AMD released another statement to tech website Tom's Hardware in an attempt to extinguish the flames. From the fire they lit and then stoked when asked if they were really looking to burn the whole thing down. The quote given to Tom's hardware was very brief. An AMD spokesperson said, new features, bug fixes, and game optimizations will continue to be delivered as required by market needs in the maintenance mode branch, which only clarified what we already suspected, though the title of the Tom's hardware article did confuse people as it read, AMD clarifies that RDNA 1 and 2 will still get day zero game support and driver updates when in fact AMD did not clarify that at all, and if anything, the opposite was true. Rather, AMD confirmed that RDNA 1 and 2 have entered maintenance mode and will only be updated as required by market needs. So that means when AMD feels like it, or as maintenance mode would actually mean when critical bug fixes are required. So at this point, AMD hadn't really backtracked, though the Tom's hardware title did lead people to believe that that was indeed the case, or that this entire drama was just a misunderstanding and that RDNA 1 and 2 support would continue. But at this point, AMD had now officially confirmed twice that RDNA 1 and RDNA 2 had been placed in maintenance mode. This all brings us to AMD's latest update, which they've titled Continued Support for Every Radeon Gamer, and I'll read what they have to say. We've heard your feedback, and we want to clear up the confusion around AMD Software Adrenaline Edition 25.10.2 driver release. This update introduces two optimized driver paths, one for RDNA 1 and RDNA 2, Radeon RX 5000 and RX 6000 series, and one for RDNA 3 and RDNA 4, Radeon RX 7000 and RX 9000 series. Here's what this means for you. This is not the end of support for RDNA 1 and RDNA 2. Your Radeon RX 5000 and RX 6000 series GPUs will continue to receive game support for new releases, stability and game optimizations, security and bug fixes. The difference is that these products now benefit from a dedicated stable driver branch, one built on years of tuning and optimization. This approach helps deliver a smoother, more consistent experience for your games while insulating previous generation GPUs from rapid changes designed for newer architectures. Why we're doing this? Our goal is simple, to give every Radeon gamer the best experience possible, 
By separating the code paths, our engineers can move faster with new features for RDNA 3 and RDNA 4, while keeping RDNA 1 and RDNA 2 stable and optimized for current and future games. Our commitment, we've supported Radeon gamers for generations and that commitment isn't changing. Whether you're gaming on an RX 5000, RX 6000 or the latest RX 9000, you'll continue to get reliability, performance and care that you expect from AMD. Because we're all part of the same gaming community and every Radeon gamer matters. Now you'll notice how this statement no longer uses the term maintenance mode. And AMD are now very clearly stating that RDNA 1 and RDNA 2 will get driver optimizations for newer games, along with security and bug fixes. Though we don't know exactly how quickly after the release of a new game they will get these optimizations. So one of two things is happening here. AMD's either walking back the previous plans, just as they did when they announced that they were going to axe future AM4 support for older 300 and 400 series motherboards, or it's a miscommunication. A classic AMD PR blunder. Normally I'd go with miscommunication, AMD seems to be pretty good at that, but in this case it seems pretty clear to me that they had planned to abandon RDNA 1 and RDNA 2 development, placing them in maintenance mode, in their own words, which they use multiple times, where they would only have to address security issues and critical bug fixes. I think the most honest thing they said in this most recent statement is that they've heard your feedback, but rather than we want to clear up the confusion around the AMD software, the honest response would have been something like, we now realize the monumental screw up and we're going to backtrack faster than we did with the AM4 thing. But let's take a look at why they say they're now doing this. The claim is that by separating the code paths, software engineers can move faster with new features for RDNA 3 and RDNA 4 while keeping RDNA 1 and RDNA 2 stable and optimized for current and future games. So if this was indeed the goal from the start, why not just lead with that? Uh, would have avoided this whole mess, and yeah, there was just no need for this confusion. And admittedly, I'm not a software engineer, but I have to question that if this was the goal from the start, why is this strategy necessary? NVIDIA, for example, doesn't have to split up their drivers, and you'd think if they were updating both driver paths at the same rate for the same day one games, it wouldn't be needed to split them up at all. I'm also not really a fan of suggesting that RDNA 3 and RDNA 4 owners get driver priority. AMD should allocate the necessary resources to support all of their products equally, uh, right up to the point where they are old enough and slow enough that placing them in maintenance mode does make sense. Of course, we don't expect them to support their products indefinitely, but yeah, especially in the case of RDNA 2, those products are still very capable. Uh, we're also very much advocates for feature support coming to all products unless there is you know, a genuine hardware limitation, which we've seen there probably will be with parts like RDNA 1 getting quite old now and do lack a lot of the hardware support needed for newer technologies. It's also really not clear that RDNA 2 will receive the same day one game support as RDNA 3 and 4 products. AMD says the RX 6000 series will receive support for new releases and optimizations, but it could mean that eventually the driver will arrive months later with those optimizations. You could even interpret that insulating previous generation GPUs from rapid changes designed for brand new architectures to mean that the updates will be slower and or less often. So even now, it's still not 100% clear whether or not AMD will deliver day one game support for these older RDNA 1 and RDNA 2 products. But whatever the case is there, we will of course be providing you with future tests in an effort to keep AMD honest. And just lastly, we have sent AMD some follow-up questions that they are yet to respond to, so if they do respond, we will pin a comment with the answers below. But as an example, we've asked them regarding the 25.10.2 driver notes, where it says, new game support and expanded Vulkan extension support is available to Radeon RX 7000 and 9000 series graphics products, is that line now incorrect given that RDNA 1 and 2 will continue to receive game support for new releases? We're also wondering if the now ongoing game support slash optimizations for RDNA 2 applies to APU products as well. Of course, we're still waiting for AMD to respond, so again, I will pin a comment if we hear anything. And that is going to do it for now. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe. Of course, we're very interested to hear your comments on this. Do you think AMD's backtracking? Do you think this was just one big misunderstanding? Maybe a bit of both. 
I don't know, let us know in the comment section below because, yeah, we're very eager, Tim and myself, to uh, read your comments there and see what you guys have to say about all of this. But, yeah, that is going to do it for this one. Um, there's really not much more to say apart from I'm your host, Steve. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you again next time.